5.3. We're in English. All right, I'm going to approach this model as 2.75 high and 6 long. I'm going to uh, not worry about that corner being cut off for now. And I'm just going to make a line 6 inches, enter. Straighten that up, center it up three, go back to line, go up 2.75, <coughs> excuse me, go over two and a half, hit escape, go back to line command, go up one inch, enter. connect. This point, I'm going to go ahead and drop that hole in somewhere here and it is one inch diameter. I'm going to locate it from the bottom which is going to be 1.25 inches and over from the left side 1.5. Enter. Okay, I'm going to finish sketch. Go to extrude. And I'm going to extrude this to three and a half inches. Three point five and 3.5, sorry about that. Let me click here. 3.5, okay. Now, I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to put a sketch on the top right here on this surface. I'm going to project geometry of that surface. And what it allows me to do again, locate the surface below. So I'm going to hit top again. I'm going to go to line. Pick any point out here except the center. So I'm going to go down here. Just pick a point like that. Go to dimension and locate the point of that line to this side, 1.75. Enter. And from the back to this point, 4. Enter. Finish sketch. Go home. Go to extrude. Go to cut, choose that, hit OK. Now, I'm going to come to the back, straighten this up, put a sketch on the back, go to rectangle, just pick any spot here, come across, go to dimension, and the width of this is one and a half. 1.5 enter and it is one inch from the end. One enter. Go to home, finish sketch, go to extrude, cut, and just to make sure, make the, you can just make this like 10. Put it out in the space because we don't have a dimension for that. Does anybody see any problem with that? Well, there is a problem. So, if I need to change this, I can always come back to my extrusion here. Remember, I didn't give you any depth for this. So, I need to put a value on that. So, I'm going to go to my ext last extrusion, right click, go down to Edit Feature. I don't need to change my extrusion, so I hit OK. 
but what I'm going to do is hit this plus sign right here. And what I need to change is a sketch. So I'm going to right click the sketch and go to edit sketch. Dimension. And I'm going to put a dimension right here. 0.5. Enter. Finish sketch. And it automatically updates. And there you have 5.3 wedge block.